In this video, you'll learn how to set up a baseline aligned modular grid in Adobe InDesign to have both your images and text aligned together with ease. Hello everybody, this is Rupen from Jam, and today I'll be teaching you how to set up your grid to align with your baseline as shown here. This method that I'm going to show you is explained in much more detail by Luke Gibson. I'll link the video in the description. The benefits of this are that you can stop worrying whether each box in your grid is filled up with enough text to cover it entirely from top to bottom and your text is going to automatically be aligned with any image you put inside the grid boxes. Now open up a new document, I'm going to go to print and for the paper size I'm going to choose A4 and choose millimeters for units and then I'll choose 3 pages and keep the facing pages option on and then I'll create the document. Go to your pages window and then make sure you're working on the master pages to apply the grid once and for all on all pages. Hold Ctrl and click on both of the master pages to select them together. Proceed by creating a large text box that covers the entire margin from top to bottom perfectly and then right click and click on fill with placeholder text. This is a very important step. The baseline grid that we're going to set is going to be based on the lettering of your body text. Decide on what font and size you're comfortable with and set your lettering size whichever number you wish. In this case I'll be using an 11 point font size and a 14 point lettering. Let's try and align our text on the baseline grid. Go ahead and click on this button in the paragraph settings. You'll notice that the baseline grid is different compared to what we want. Go to view, grids and guides and then show baseline grid to see what it looks like. To make the value of our baseline grid match the letting that we chose, copy the value of the letting, which is 14 points, then go to edit, preferences, grids and paste it in the increment every setting and change the start value to zero so our baseline starts at the very top of the page. Your text should now be perfectly placed on the baseline grid with 14 points of letting. We want our margins to align with the baseline grid. To do that, we're going to count down 3 baseline units, which is 14 points times 3, and go into the layout, margins and columns, then make sure all the sides are locked together and right on the top 14 points times 3 and hit apply. And your top margin should align perfectly with the baseline grid. Now if you check the bottom margins, you'll notice that there's a slight shift the way you could fix this is by easily drawing a rectangle there to measure the height. You'll see that we have the weird number in H here for height, copy that number, open up your calculator then divide that number by 2 and you'll get the value that you'll be using to shift your baseline grid to the center. Take that number and go into preferences, grids again and set the start value to the number that we just copied. Now bring up the margins panel again and we're going to add the value that we just came up with to the top margin. And now we're going to notice that the top and the bottom margins perfectly align together with the baseline grid. Perfect. Now I want you to bring up the info window to count the numbers of the baselines inside of our margins. Go to window then choose info. Using the text tool click anywhere inside of our text box and highlight everything holding ctrl or command A. Then look inside of the info panel it will tell you how many lines you have in there. Take that number and see what it's divisible by and that number is going to be the number of rows you're going to have in the document. In my case I got 54 lines which are divisible by 6. But before we do that, that also means I'm going to have 6 gutters. Which is wrong, we're only going to have 5. So subtract 1 baseline unit from the bottom and go into layout, create guides and add 6 rows. Don't forget to change the gutters to 14 points which is the length of our baseline. Now add columns that work well in relation to whatever you have and I'm going to choose standard 6x4 and click OK and there you have it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.